you're ready, just allowing yourself to move your body any way that it desires so that you can fully be present, releasing any tightness, sighing out the breath if that feels good. In fact, let's all do that. Let's breathe in deeply. Ah, just bring some sound, bring some energy to that exhale. Ah, starting that process of release. As you consciously say yes to shedding the layers, the stories, the setbacks. The confusion, the uncertainty, the doubts around your path, where you're supposed to be placed, what is your purpose, what is your calling, what is your contribution, what's the legacy that you want to create. Sometimes we get so bombarded with these questions that that in itself leads to inertia, leads to that immobilization where you're stuck in a car looking at weather outside, looking at nature outside, knowing that you should be outside. Just a metaphor for reminding us that sometimes we get locked in locked in our body locked in that battlefield of the mind when we know what we should do what when we know what foods to eat and what practices would support us but we don't do it so it's that space that we go to it's that in-between space that we go to in this alchemy to bring to the surface that which we need to know and realize and perhaps love and embrace in order to fully let go, in order for there to be really true embodied change. And so it is. So continuing to Breathe deeply, connecting to the energy of your heart. And every breath in and every breath out, just allowing your heart to open a little bit more with every breath. Reminding your heart that you are safe. That your heart is safe to open. Just feeling any release. As you begin to shift your awareness down to your heart center. Imagining in front of you is a doorway. A doorway into the sacred space of your heart. For you are loved and accepted just as you are. A space where you don't need to do or be anything to anyone. You can just let be what is. And so when you're ready, if you haven't done so, please step over that threshold, through the door, closing it behind you if that feels good, and then turning to see how your heart wishes to manifest today. With every breath in, breathing life into the sacred space of your heart. And allow your heart, your landscape of your heart to begin to change to space and nature. 
And maybe you find yourself in the heart of a, a deep, thick, but a reassuring forest or an open landscape by the water on the mountains. Wherever you are, just allow yourself to be. Breathing in the scents in the air. Noticing the sounds and the colors. Perhaps choosing to lie down, feeling between your hands, the earth or the moss or the sand or the water, wherever you are, making that connection with this beautiful landscape. And leaning into it, allowing yourself to be held just as you are, perfect, just as you are. Now bring flowers here. Bring in the energy of spring. Green shoots coming up through the land and around you. And seeing your favourite flowers in bloom. As they awaken after the darkness and the slumber of winter. They're now opening their petals to the sun to receive to just simply be their sovereign self and to shine. And each of these beautiful flowers just reminding you of the bliss and the joy that comes when you allow yourself the freedom just to be you. Breathing in the love, the pure unconditional love that this landscape is showering you with as it holds you, as it communicates with you. We now invite in to join you, your higher self. And while you may feel you are already one with your higher self, for the purpose of this session, just allow your higher self to take a form that is out with you so you can see them, sense them, feel them. And maybe they take the form of a priestess, or an angel, or a dragon, or a tree, or a colour. Feel your higher self, sense them. They have come forward today to support you with the alchemy that is needed to release what has been holding you back, what is ready to liberate from your being so that you can fully step in and embody your dreams. Receive the clarity, know for sure why you are here, where you're going, what's best to create.
So beginning to open up to your higher self. Just feeling their energy, knowing that it really is your energy. But just feeling, seeing how they wish to present. Honouring any emotion that begins to flow. And now you begin just to simply let go of any layers, any old versions of you that you are ready to say goodbye to. Any latent anger or conscious anger you've been holding on to, frustration, doubt, uncertainty, any and all surface layers of emotion that have felt heavy, give them over to your higher self and the team that is here to transform them into prana into life force that will circulate back into you creating the space creating a fertile ground in which to plant your dreams because everything is cyclical as you release they transform the energy is purified and comes back to you All you need to do is just open up, open up your body, open up your field and just say yes to all the layers, all the emotion, any density you are ready to say goodbye to. Breathing it out, sighing it out, letting it go. And if the energy of other people come into your awareness, just releasing any cords, any attachments, any contracts, bows, just letting them be transformed and recycled. Breathe in deeply. Wondering how your body is alchemizing. Feeling into any sensations as the energy comes up and out. Whether you want to move, yawn, stretch, burp, laugh. <laughs> Letting go, freeing yourself, shedding these old layers and allowing yourself to rebirth, choosing rebirth, choosing thriving, choosing success, choosing your dreams. Surrendering the fear of stepping into your power. Surrendering that what if energy a few more moments we sweep this energy this energy of renewal up from below your feet in the sacred space of your heart but also your physical body we just bring that energy up through the central channel of your body up past your heart throat third eye crown shaking it off out through your aura out through your light fields everything and anything that you are ready to say goodbye to that is here to be alchemized we release that now on all levels of being time space and dimensions as your higher self 
alchemizes us back into life renewing prana that you can use that is fertile soil that's fertilizer for your dreams feeling that renewed energy come in and we ask your higher self at this time to share any insights messages as well as their pure unconditional love Ask them to show you why you were here, why you chose to be in this ceremony today. What is here for you? Breathing that in. And those words, those insights, that love, that message, Create it so it's just one phrase, one short sentence, condensing it right down, your reason for being here, your reason for saying yes to more. Yes to more, yes to being alive to your dreams, to letting them be embodied. What is that sentence? We're going to remain in this field of alchemy. And remembering what the guide said at the start of this ceremony, trusting, trusting others, trusting yourself. So trusting the manifestation of your higher self, how they came forward, trusting that that is exactly what you need in the moment or to see or to feel. And for the next portion of this alchemy, just feeling them there in the background, supporting you, constantly showering you with pure unconditional love. For our higher self never judges us, never condemns us, never wants us to be more than we are, but is always there as counsel to offer advice and guidance when we ask and can definitely support us to make the changes in our life. And that change that we need to make to really embody ourselves more, to embody the clarity, the purpose, the gifts, the dreams, the success, is changing our daily habits, our daily rituals and practices. For most of the time, our habitual consciousness is running on automatic pilot. And so in this space and over the next few months, every ceremony, we're going to help ourselves to become more conscious, more aware of our choices or decisions so that we are not in automatic pilot. So we are consistently conscious, choosing that which supports us to keep our heart open, our mind clear, our energy fired up. And so just seeing yourself, feeling yourself in this beautiful landscape where you are safe. In the sacred space of your heart, you can connect to any guides, angels, parts of you, facets of you, of your multidimensional self. And the part that we wish to communicate with now is your inner child and we ask the age of your inner child to manifest that age that is at the core of the fear of moving yourself forward in the direction of your dreams in the direction of what is most important to you So the child comes forward now and they may be young, they may be a teen, they may be an adolescent. 
Just let that age come to your awareness and invite in this aspect of you to be here now. And we're not here to change them or judge them. Neither are we here to judge you or change you. We're just coming into a space of understanding. And if that leads to resolve, to change, wonderful. If it doesn't, then that is okay too. Come into that place of unconditional love that seeks nothing, that wants nothing, that just simply is. So showing your inner child that you are here for them. That you're here to show them and shower them in pure unconditional love. And now ask them why they have resistance or fear to fully being their true self. What is in the way? And allow them to show you the memory or the circumstance or the fear that they're holding on to. What are they clinging on to? Remind them that you are not here, again, to judge them. You are here just to listen, to understand. Keep opening and showing them that. Show them how loved they are, how accepted they are, and that it's safe for them to be their true self, that nothing truly, especially in this space, can harm them. And if it feels right, allow your higher self to also come in and just be the observer, the loving, compassionate observer, to bring what is ever needed offer that to your inner child. What does your inner child need you to understand? What is at the root of their fear? Let yourself listen. Breathing deeply. As you listen without filters, allowing them to express their feelings, whether they are tantruming, venting, shouting, misbehaving, or just want to be held. Provide the support that they need in this moment. And then if they are ready,
say to them that they are safe to let all of this go. Yes, it's safe to let all of this go. Are they ready? And if they are just like you did before, see everything going up to your higher self to be transformed. As your inner child releases, and maybe some comes from you, your current age, reminding them it's safe to let go. That they are completely held. And as this happens, what is their advice for you? What is on the other side of the fear? Can they speak from that place, offering you insights, words of wisdom? And if you are feeling these changes physically on your body and in your body, just breathe into these areas. As you breathe, you expand, you raise your consciousness and you let what needs to be released to do so. So if your little inner child felt like they didn't have support, maybe you're feeling that in your low back. Maybe if it's pain of a memory or a trauma, you might be feeling that coming out of your heart space or your solar plexus or your voice. Just allowing the alchemy, this is beyond the mind. Just trusting the process. And then giving your inner child a hug. Let them also hug you. Asking if there's anything else that they feel they need at this time to be happy, to express themselves in a way that is most joyful, most free, most authentic. And then invite them to stay with you as we now ask your future self to come in. And this may be one, two, five years, perhaps. Whatever number comes to you, inviting that higher, more expansive, perhaps future self to come in. And as they come forward, witness the gratitude in their eyes. For without you, they would not be living in the way that they are, expressing themselves in the way that they are. They are so grateful to you for making the choices and the changes, taking the risks and the leaps needed to say yes to more, yes to your dreams. And witnessing how they look and feel, how they're dressed maybe, how they're presenting themselves, is it different to how you present now? Feeling their genuine love for you, appreciation. Your future self is here today to show you what can be, what is possible when you choose to 
say yes to bringing in greater love and life and laughter and clarity and harmony. The statement that you created, they're showing you what can happen when you fully embody that. We ask your future self to offer any insights, messages, words of wisdom that can best support you to trust in them, to trust the trajectory and the path towards them. Let yourself receive that now. What are they offering to you? Gifts, symbols, stories, future memories, future alignments and opportunities that will come your way should you choose to say yes to your dreams. Yes to them. Yes to what's possible. And the more that you listen and the more that you just watch and receive, start to feel more positive, more hopeful, more certain. Asking them to show you what is the next step on your path to bring that clarity. Those of you who wanted more direction, what is that direction? What can they give you right now? And allow them to shower you with the resources that you need, financial, emotional, physical, energetic resources to create and allow for this next step and then the next step to build that growth, to build that pathway towards them. And then allow your future self and you and your inner child to all connect. Whether you're seeing that as holding hands or hugging or just merging, allow that to take place in the way that it needs to in this moment. Higher self perhaps joining or just overseeing as the witness, as the neutral, neutral awareness. But feeling how your inner child is like the seed. You are the shoot that is growing and your future self is the petals and you're this beautiful flower. And all parts are needed and all parts are valued and all parts are equal. And your higher self is the radiance that shines down, is the earth, is the ground. And everything is one. So that all resources are at your fingertips. Everything that you need can be sourced from this place. Breathing into that now, as it really begins to root and land into your body, as you seed all of this wisdom, all of this remembrance, this future pathway, 
towards your dreams while accepting who you are, what you are, your life right now and honouring your past. Bringing everything in to this moment, letting everything merge. then allowing either your inner child and your higher self and your future self to stay within you as you or see these aspects just gently fade with gratitude and come back into this inner landscape of your heart breathing in once more the sense taking in the colors taking in the sounds, being aware of how different you feel and are, knowing that this alchemy will continue for the next 14 days. There will be continued shifts, listening back to the recording will help. But really feeling and noticing the signs and the messages and the dreams for, from your inner child, from your future self and your higher self, all supporting you, all bringing in little nuggets of gems and jewels and wisdom and offerings, gifts, to remind you that they are here, that you are always held. Breathing in one last breath, feeling all of the love that is here for you. And the momentum, the fire that is sparking new change, new beginnings within you and within your life. Feeling those flowers in your heart space, bringing them back. Let's just come into gratitude for everything that has been brought forward today, everything that's been alchemized, everything that has been spoken and heard and held and transformed and our future, uh, beautiful future selves for bringing in what they have and our wee ones and our higher self and all the aspects, Mother Earth, Father Sun, Father Sky, everything in between and beautiful Mama Cacao for weaving her magic through us, connecting our hearts as one. We honour you. Anything that needs to go to Earth to be transformed, we give that as a blessing. Now, anything that needs to go up into source fire, we give that as a blessing now. And just take a moment to breathe yourself back into your heart. And then grounding your energy. Maybe seeing light cords or roots growing from your heart space down into the center of the earth, up into the center of the heavens or the sun. Beautiful sisters, thank you for showing up today, showing up for you, showing up for the many, and I look forward to seeing you in the next ceremony.